Welcome everyone to the fascinating world of poisons and toxins. Did you know that nature is filled with an array of chemical compounds that can be deadly to living organisms? From the venom of snakes to the toxins produced by plants, the diversity of poisons in nature is truly astounding. In fact, there are over 120,000 different types of toxins known to science, each with its own unique properties and effects. These toxins have evolved as a means of defense for various organisms, allowing them to ward off predators and protect themselves from harm. One interesting fact is that some toxins are so potent that even a tiny amount can be lethal to a human. For example, the toxin produced by the pufferfish is 1,200 times more deadly than cyanide. Despite their harmful effects, toxins have also found important applications in medicine. For instance, botulinum toxin, commonly known as Botox, is used in cosmetic procedures to reduce wrinkles by temporarily paralyzing facial muscles. Another example is the use of venom from the cone snail to develop pain-relieving medications that are more potent than morphine. These applications highlight the potential benefits that can be derived from studying and understanding the properties of toxins. As we delve deeper into the world of poisons and toxins, we will explore the mechanisms by which they act, the effects they have on organisms, and the ethical considerations surrounding their use. So buckle up and get ready to embark on a journey through the intriguing and complex world of poisons and toxins. Nature has equipped various organisms with a plethora of fascinating defensive mechanisms to protect themselves from predators. One such mechanism is mimicry, where harmless species imitate the appearance of toxic or dangerous species to ward off potential threats. For example, the viceroy butterfly mimics the coloration of the toxic monarch butterfly to deter predators. Another intriguing defensive strategy is camouflage, where organisms blend into their surroundings to avoid detection. The leaf-tailed gecko, with its leaf-like appearance, seamlessly merges with its environment, making it nearly invisible to predators. Some organisms have evolved physical defenses such as spines, thorns, or shells to deter predators. The porcupine, with its sharp quills, serves as a formidable deterrent against would-be attackers. Chemical defenses are also prevalent in nature, with many organisms producing toxins to fend off predators. The poison dart frog, found in Central and South America, secretes potent neurotoxins through its skin, making it deadly to predators. Interestingly, some organisms have developed symbiotic relationships with toxic species for protection. The clownfish seeks refuge among the venomous tentacles of the sea anemone, which provides a shield against predators in exchange for food and protection. In the arms race between predators and prey, evolution has led to the development of intricate defensive mechanisms that continue to fascinate scientists. The diversity of defensive strategies in nature is truly remarkable, with each species adapting unique tactics to ensure survival. From mimicry and camouflage to physical and chemical defenses, the natural world is a treasure trove of ingenuity and adaptation. These defensive mechanisms not only showcase the creativity of evolution, but also highlight the interconnectedness of species within ecosystems. As we unravel the mysteries of these defenses, we gain a deeper appreciation for the complexity and beauty of the natural world. Poisons and toxins come in a variety of forms, each with its own unique properties and effects. One interesting type of poison is tetrodotoxin found in pufferfish and certain amphibians, which is one of the most potent neurotoxins known to science. In fact, just one milligram of tetrodotoxin can be lethal to a human. Another fascinating group of toxins is the mycotoxins produced by fungi, such as aflatoxin and ergot alkaloids. Aflatoxin, commonly found in moldy grains and nuts, is a potent carcinogen that poses a significant health risk to humans and animals. Ergot alkaloids, on the other hand, have a long history of causing hallucinations and other neurological effects when consumed. Venomous animals also produce a diverse array of toxins, including hemotoxins that target the blood and tissues, neurotoxins that affect the nervous system, and cytotoxins that damage cells. For example, the venom of the box jellyfish contains potent neurotoxins that can cause paralysis and cardiac arrest in humans. 
Plants are another source of toxins, with compounds like ricin from castor beans and cyanogenic glycosides from certain fruits and seeds. Ricin is infamous for its lethality, with just a few milligrams capable of causing death. Cyanogenic glycosides, when ingested, release hydrogen cyanide, a deadly poison that interferes with cellular respiration. The diversity of poisons and toxins in nature is staggering, with each type posing unique challenges and risks to living organisms. Understanding the properties and effects of these toxins is crucial for both scientific research and medical applications. Poisons and toxins have a profound impact on organisms, often leading to a cascade of physiological effects. For example, neurotoxins target the nervous system, disrupting communication between neurons and causing paralysis or even death. One striking example is the venom of the cone snail, which contains a potent neurotoxin that can paralyze prey within seconds. Hemotoxins, on the other hand, target the blood and can lead to severe bleeding and organ damage. The venom of the Russell's viper, a highly venomous snake found in Asia, contains hemotoxins that can cause hemorrhage and tissue necrosis. Some toxins have specific effects on certain organs or systems. For instance, hepatotoxins target the liver, leading to liver damage and dysfunction. Aflatoxin, a mycotoxin produced by certain fungi, is known to cause liver cancer in humans and animals. Renotoxins affect the kidneys, impairing their function and potentially leading to kidney failure. The venom of the saw-scaled viper, a snake found in Africa and Asia, contains toxins that can cause acute kidney injury. Interestingly, some toxins have evolved to target specific prey species while sparing others. For example, the venom of the black widow spider is highly toxic to insects and other arthropods, but has minimal effects on vertebrates, including humans. Understanding the effects of poisons on organisms is crucial for developing effective treatments for envenomation and poisoning cases. By unraveling the mechanisms by which toxins disrupt physiological processes, scientists can devise targeted therapies to counteract their effects and save lives. Toxins derived from various sources in nature have found remarkable applications in the field of medicine, showcasing the potential benefits that can be harnessed from these potent compounds. One intriguing example is the use of botulinum toxin, commonly known as Botox, in the treatment of various medical conditions. While Botox is widely recognized for its cosmetic applications in reducing wrinkles, it also has therapeutic uses in treating muscle spasms, chronic migraines, and even overactive bladder. In fact, Botox injections have become a popular non-surgical treatment option for a range of medical issues, with millions of procedures performed annually worldwide. Another fascinating application of toxins in medicine is the development of pain-relieving medications derived from venomous creatures. Venom from cone snails, known for their potent neurotoxins, has inspired the creation of novel painkillers that target specific pain receptors in the nervous system. These medications offer an alternative to traditional pain management strategies and have shown promising results in alleviating chronic pain conditions. The field of oncology has also benefited from the use of toxins in targeted cancer therapies. For instance, antibodies conjugated with toxins, known as immunotoxins, have been designed to selectively target cancer cells while sparing healthy tissues. This targeted approach minimizes the side effects associated with traditional chemotherapy and enhances the efficacy of cancer treatment. Immunotoxins have shown particular success in treating hematologic malignancies such as leukemia and lymphoma, with some patients achieving complete remission. The application of toxins in medicine extends beyond traditional drug therapies to innovative diagnostic techniques. Toxins such as ricin and cholera toxin have been utilized in laboratory assays to study cellular processes and identify specific biomarkers associated with diseases. These toxins serve as valuable tools for researchers in elucidating molecular pathways and developing diagnostic tests for various medical conditions. The use of toxins in medicine underscores the importance of harnessing nature's bioactive compounds for therapeutic purposes, paving the way for novel treatment modalities and diagnostic tools. With ongoing research and advancements in toxinology, the potential for discovering new applications of toxins in medicine continues to expand offering hope for improved patient outcomes and innovative healthcare solutions.
One fascinating case study of toxin application in medicine involves the development of captopril, a widely used medication for hypertension. Captopril is derived from the venom of the Brazilian pit viper, Bothrops jararaca, and works by inhibiting an enzyme that regulates blood pressure. This groundbreaking discovery led to the development of a new class of antihypertensive drugs known as ACE inhibitors, revolutionizing the treatment of high blood pressure. Another intriguing example is the use of scorpion venom in cancer therapy. Researchers have identified compounds in scorpion venom that selectively target cancer cells while sparing healthy tissues. Clinical trials have shown promising results, with some patients experiencing tumor regression and improved survival rates. In the realm of pain management, the venom of the marine cone snail has inspired the creation of ziconotide, a potent analgesic that targets specific pain receptors in the spinal cord. Ziconotide offers a non-opioid alternative for managing severe chronic pain, particularly in patients who do not respond well to traditional pain medications. The field of toxinology continues to uncover novel applications of toxins in medicine, with ongoing research exploring the therapeutic potential of venom compounds from a diverse range of species. These case studies highlight the transformative impact of toxins on medical science and underscore the importance of interdisciplinary collaboration in harnessing nature's bioactive compounds for human health. Ethical considerations play a crucial role in the use of toxins in medicine and research, raising important questions about the balance between potential benefits and ethical implications. One ethical dilemma arises from the sourcing of toxins from living organisms, prompting discussions on the welfare of animals and the conservation of species. For example, the extraction of venom from snakes and other venomous creatures for research purposes raises concerns about the impact on wild populations and the ethical treatment of animals. Additionally, the use of toxins in medical treats raises questions about informed consent and patient autonomy. Patients receiving toxin-based therapies must be fully informed about the potential risks and benefits of treatment, as well as alternative options available to them. Ethical guidelines and regulations play a crucial role in ensuring that the use of toxins in medicine is conducted responsibly and ethically. Researchers and healthcare providers must adhere to strict ethical standards to protect the well-being of patients and uphold the principles of beneficence and non-maleficence. In the realm of toxin research, ethical considerations extend to issues of transparency and accountability. Researchers must disclose any potential conflicts of interest and ensure that their work is conducted with integrity and scientific rigor. The ethical use of toxins in medicine requires a delicate balance between advancing scientific knowledge and safeguarding the rights and well-being of individuals. By upholding ethical principles and promoting transparency in toxin research and application, we can navigate the complex ethical landscape surrounding the use of toxins in medicine and ensure that these powerful compounds are harnessed responsibly for the benefit of society. The field of toxin research holds immense promise for the future, with exciting developments on the horizon that have the potential to revolutionize medicine and biotechnology. One area of interest is the exploration of novel toxin-derived compounds for drug discovery. Scientists are delving into the vast biodiversity of venomous creatures, such as snakes, spiders, and marine organisms, in search of bioactive molecules with therapeutic properties. These natural toxins offer a rich source of inspiration for developing new medications to treat a wide range of diseases, from cancer to neurological disorders. In fact, it is estimated that less than 1% of venom compounds have been characterized, highlighting the untapped potential for discovering novel drug candidates. Advanced technologies such as high-throughput screening and computational modeling are accelerating the pace of toxin research, enabling researchers to identify promising leads for drug development more efficiently. Another exciting frontier in toxin research is the application of toxins in targeted drug delivery systems. By harnessing the specificity of toxin receptor interactions, scientists are designing innovative drug delivery platforms that can precisely target disease cells while minimizing off-target effects. These targeted delivery systems have the potential to enhance the efficacy of therapeutic agents 
and reduce side effects in patients. The field of toxin research is also expanding into the realm of bioengineering, where toxins are being used as molecular tools for designing novel biomaterials and bio-inspired technologies. For example, researchers are exploring the use of spider silk proteins, which exhibit remarkable strength and flexibility in the development of advanced materials for tissue engineering and regenerative medicine. The interdisciplinary nature of toxin research, combining elements of biology, chemistry, and engineering, is driving innovation and opening new avenues for scientific exploration and discovery. The world of poisons and toxins is a treasure trove of fascinating discoveries and potential applications. Did you know that the venom of the cone snail contains over a hundred different toxins, each with unique effects on the nervous system? In fact, Cone snail venom has inspired the development of Zyconotide, a potent painkiller used in the management of chronic pain. Another intriguing fact is that the Gila monster, a venomous lizard native to the southwestern United States, produces a hormone-like toxin called exenatide, which is used in the treatment of type 2 diabetes. The field of toxin research is rapidly evolving with scientists uncovering new bioactive compounds and innovative applications for these potent substances. With advancements in technology and a deeper understanding of toxin receptor interactions, the future of toxin research holds great promise for improving human health and advancing biotechnology. One interesting fact is that the venom of the box jellyfish contains toxins that can attack the heart, nervous system, and skin cells simultaneously. This potent venom has earned the box jellyfish the title of one of the most venomous creatures in the world. Did you know that the geographic cone snail, found in the waters of the Indo-Pacific region, produces a venom that can paralyze its prey within seconds? This fast-acting venom contains a complex mixture of toxins that target specific receptors in the nervous system. In terms of statistics, there are over 2,900 species of snakes worldwide, with around 600 of them being venomous. Each snake species produces a unique venom composition, making them a rich source of bioactive compounds for scientific research and drug development. 